In the past, I've read the manuals on this style of battery charger, and they've said that they weren't recommended for deep cycle batteries. I've seen some of the new ones are okay to use on deep cycle batteries, but I always thought it was better to use some type of converter. And even though you can just buy one of these instead of making what I've made, I just got this style converter uh, for free from one of my friends. So I like to put wires in boxes, so I decided to put this one in a box and put a meter on it. And so here I'm just uh, trying to figure out where I'm going to put all the parts. So this also gave me an opportunity to play around with some Anderson plugs that I've never installed before. So I want to try to figure that out also. So also I'm going to put in a meter with a shunt. So we're going to talk about how to install the shunt. So here you can see where your negative wire is going to connect through the shunt. And then the other side, your negative wire is going to connect through the load. So the other side was power coming in, that's your power going out, and then the small wire is hooked to the uh, meter. And then you still need the positive side connected to the shunt to give it power. So here I'm just trying to determine where I want to put the shunt. I'm just going to add some terminals here. This side is coming off of the converter. And the other side will go to the battery through the Anderson plug. Then the small terminals there are going to hook to the meter. So this is after I got it mounted and then to mount the converter I just used some aluminum straps that I screwed to the bottom and then screwed to the mounting holes in the bottom of the box. And here I'm just mounting the vent covers. And then to supply the high voltage side, the 120 volt, I used one of these 15 amp type receptacles that will accept the female end of a, an extension cord. And so here you, to the brass or gold side, you put the hot wire, the neutral goes on the silver, and then the green goes to the green, your ground. So there you can see that's what the, the plug looks like. And here I'm just cutting out the uh, rectangle hole for the meter and just use a drill a couple of holes there and then use a scroll saw to square it up and then I use a file to fine tune it and then so here I'm wiring up the meter so the two small wires off of the shunt go to the outside terminals The power wire is going to go in the middle terminal there, and we'll hook that up to the uh, circuit breaker there that's going to be connected to the battery. So here I'm playing with the Anderson plug, trying to install one. It's the first time I've used one, and I was trying to figure out which crimper was right for it. I didn't buy a special crimper for it. I have so many. And I realized I had this one, which probably would work perfectly. I'll find out in the future, but I forgot it at work. So I just had to make something 
work. I just used my regular blue crimper there. That one there, I used it, and it worked okay. And so here I'm just connecting the wire from the circuit breaker to the Anderson plug. You can see the other side of the breaker is the converter and the power for the meter. slid in I use that screwdriver to to help it slide those in until they snap in and so this is the other side of the Anderson plug I was going to use to uh, you can see that crimper there did not get that tight so I'm just using that channel lock one there Then on the other side, I'm going to solder on some battery clamps. I always forget to put that sleeve on. So if you're doing something like that, make sure you put the sleeve on before you solder it together. Here I'm just tinning the wire. I didn't leave in the whole process, I cut it short. I'm just using this pencil soldering iron. I have a bigger one, but I forgot that at work also, so that's why I'm using the pencil one. But it, it still worked pretty good. Did a little bench test with the test battery I have before I closed it up. And I took it to work and plugged it in, hooked it up to a couple old batteries. I like the digital display on it. I like that you can see the amp draw going down as the batteries are charging. So it's been working out pretty good so far. So. Uh, thanks for watching.